What's up guys? I am back to you with a quick makeup tutorial on my everyday makeup look. I'm actually going to attempt to do a five minute face, but it may not even reach that point. So I just wanted to show you guys, I'm actually getting ready to head out to buy a couple of my princess, a few um, birthday presents because her birthday is Saturday and she will be I have to make sure I put up the right number because I'm not literate but she'll be three <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys like what I do real quick um try to condense this down um to like a shorter video I tried to pin my hair back so you wouldn't see my grays but that's never successful so what I've done here so far to go ahead and get started in the quick rambling my hair just doesn't we'll just leave it back like that but I'm in my bathroom, not very cute scenery, but we can deal with it. If I can stop messing with my hair, that would be great, but let's try. Okay, you girls know how it is. So what I've done here so far is I've put on my moisturizer, which is the St. Eyes Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin uh, Moisturizer. I never say that word correctly, Elastin, whatever. Sue me, and I put on this Nivea Caramel Cream Kiss Lip Butter. I always like to put on um, lip gloss before I put on my makeup. Um, I don't know, it's a weird thing. I actually think a lot of people actually do that too before they put it on. Just It's kind of like you've completed your lips for now, you know what I mean? So first what I'm going to do, I actually do my makeup a little bit differently now. I actually started doing my eyes first. So... Um, and I learned that from Joey Bug. It's a new person I started watching who's really cool, and I'll link her channel below. So as I've told you guys in the past, I don't um, pluck my eyebrows just because I just like them like this. And they've always been comfortable for me. And be careful not to mess up my I'm getting text messages right now. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to do my eyes real quick, and I've always used this, and I'll show you what I use. It's the NYX Eyeshadow Base, um, and it's not any specific color. It's just those codes that are on the bottom right there. Sorry, my mom had to um, talk to me about something important about one of my daughter's birthday presents. So, But I've already done one eye, and I don't know if you can see very well as far as this lighting. Looks like that was better, so I'm going to leave that on. And I'll just do the other eye. And this, I've, I'm have i so, like, I'm stuck on this eyeshadow base. I'm pretty sure there's probably better ones out there. Well, I won't say better, but, like, more expensive ones. But I love this one. And NYX is not expensive at all. I can't remember how much I paid for it. It's probably, like, a couple of dollars or so. Um, next one I'm going to do is my eyeshadow and today since I'm wearing like a black palette I'm going to use the the naked one palette and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, virgin right here for the highlighting area and then I'm going to use buck right here and then I'm going to use for my eyelids I'm going to use smog, just the base, basic color. And then if you, oh God, look at my gray hair showing. Shouldn't have put that second. I can't do that. I mean, I'm human and I got gray hair, but not on camera. We won't do that. So we put a highlight up here. You guys know how to do a highlight. And I always, mine always looks a little messy when I first put it on. But, and then if we do, I said I was going to do Buck. I'm going to look in my mirror for a second, guys. Buck is kind of like a, well, it's a, not kind of, it's like a very neutral color. When you don't really want like a strong. Um, a strong look. Not even a, like close to being a like smoky eye, like nowhere near it. But just want something basic. And I think with this, um, yeah. You see, it's just like the brown, like a little smart high, small highlight. 
And then I'm going to use smog, which you see here. And I'm going to put that on my eyelids. Smog is a weird color. It, it probably shows up more on a more Caucasian skin than a African American skin. But it still makes a impact though. It's kind of like, a, well it's showing up really pigmented in my camera, but it makes like, it makes an effect. And what I always do when I wear smog is I'll take the half bake, which is right here, and I'll put that on my waterline just to make my eyes pop a little bit. And I only do it on the corner part of the eye. And then we're going to take a little bit of naked right here. And then we're going to do the inner corners of my eyes. Just to, and I'm going to use virgin because virgin is more bright. Just to make it pop. And when you do this, you always want to blend it in. Because you don't want to have like white in the corner of your eye. It's always It serves as a highlight, but it should always look natural. So, those are my eyes. And even though I did my eyes first, I'm still going to do my eyeshadow last. Um, and I'm going to be using the Voluminous Mango. And you guys know this is my favorite. I also use the, um, the Manga rock a lot too that comes in this package if you want to see a review on what i thought about